I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are running around like lunatics getting ready because at this point it is only a week away from our events. It's a little bit crazy, but it's great fun and we're getting loads and loads and loads of stuff done, which we'll show you. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the little baby squirrel, which we saved after he was abandoned by his mother and fell out the tree. He is surviving, he's eating, he's getting stronger. So that's all looking really positive. So fingers crossed for the little fella and um, we'll give you an update when he's looking much healthier. Now, let me show you what's been going on. There's something going on here at our bridge. These are the gates. You can see one side painted, one side not. And we've got the side railings being painted by Mark over here. He's a great painter. Hi. <laughs> you will be able to see at one of our other bridges on the other side, past the chateau, which goes over the moat. He's helped us paint that. And we've got... It's not an easy job because you've got to do these sides and obviously protect it. We've got this side. We've got this other side to do, but it's going to be really, really great because as you'll be coming in through this bridge over the moat, which is really wonderful, you're going to be greeted by quite a lot of really nice things. So there's a lot to do. The garden needs tidying up. And we've got Matt the gardener helping us with the weeds. We have to be burning them off the gravel later on. Also need to trim some of the bushes, get them more into that round shape rather than the scraggly sides. Got a long list, lots to do, so I better get going myself. I've just noticed Mark is doing a really interesting technique, which is unusual from kind of the norm. So tell us about this technique, Mark. Basically, using an X shape. You stipple and then you do an X an X shape. That way it evens the distribution of the paint out so that you don't get any build-ups. There's a nice even coat. And then you just smooth that at the end. Yeah, yeah, and then you just do a normal. It looks really nice. Is there a name for this? I just call it the X. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know of any name for it. It but looks really wonderful. It makes a really nice coverage because I think it just gets to all the lovely nooks and crannies in there of previous paint or uneven wood or metal or anything like that. It looks really, really great. Yeah. Thanks for that tip. No problem. Phil's over there started a H trimmer for me because I always struggle with the pull cord. We're well, gonna trim those bushes that you see uh that are a bit unruly so that entrance will be a lot neater and transformed so let's get going so here is our before with the bushes still unruly Looking wonderful, I think.
from the gate and the bridge looking crisp and fresh chapel trees are looking welcoming nice round bushes and flowering roses to so all the bushes looking neat in our mill garden it's really getting a bit panicky yeah that might be the word panicky don't know stressful who knows that's not that stressful i don't get stressed right i need to take something down you might have seen this before in the background to shots it was an aviary a long time ago, long before we got here. We put the white ripstop roof on it to, so we could use it for the food catering section at the events. We've got the electric and all the rest of it. It's well past its sell-by date. I think you can probably tell it's uh, sadly, I mean, it's not even safe anymore. Yeah, so this unfortunately has to come down and leave. And that's that, it's gone. This one's there because it's got the electric on it. That can now, I'll just clear that up and it can have a proper gazebo for the food, sorted. So here is our end of day destruction of changes. All the bushes are nice, neat and trimmed. The gates and the bridge are very prominent with color, looking neat. Next area to work on is here. Lightning is certainly liking the changes. What do you think, Lightning? Sniffing, everything's new. <laughs>